bum 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 the Peter Like Show. Bum 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 bum. Well, happy Sunday. Today it's a Peter Like Show, but continue to pray for me by disliking this video, please. I need to get at least a thousand dislikes. So I'm starting to feel a heck of a lot better. This is the first time in a while on a Sunday that I actually feel ready and recharged to uh, to go out and fight, um, uh, for, uh, uh, to speak up for myself at work, and to do my best job ever tomorrow. And I feel I feel all charged up. And in fact, I wish I could go back today. That's how I feel about this. So I, I think I'm doing well. A little bit of context. Um, this past year has been a difficult year of burnout for me. Two rounds of COVID-19, um, a, a lot of stresses at work, one job where I had toxicity and um, had to um, get the fuck out of, and then another job that's pretty much a dream job except that the pace chugs along way too fast, some relationship problems. I don't have the best of luck actually. I live in a hostel right now, they're doing renovations, and um, about two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, uh, uh, a distant cousin of Selena, the, the singer that was murdered in the 1990s, um, moved in and she uh, started a conversation with me on her own and um, I thought that was, that was it. She was here for two days to interview for a job, uh, which I thought she had. It was, I thought it was a sure thing. She didn't get the job and she moved back with her parents in uh, San Francisco. and That's the kind of luck. That's the kind of luck that I run into, right? And um, and then I... Uh, I uh, that's the kind of... Uh, that's also the, a similar kind of luck I run into selling my art, right? What, what should be a sure sale dissip dissipates for some reason, right? Uh, somebody uh, was interested in buying... Uh, one of the geodes that I had at a good price too, and uh, and then he ran into car trouble, doesn't have the money, right? Something like that. That's a, that's the kind of drama I run into. Earlier today, I was reading a Facebook uh, feed, and this guy had won. He he picked the wrong numbers on the lottery, and he won what should have been twenty five thousand a year for life, but he took the lump sum, which was only like three hundred fifty thousand. Given his age, I uh, most people thought he should have taken the twenty-five thousand a year. But you know what? The kind of luck that I have, as soon as I sign up the contract for twenty-five thousand a year, as soon as I sign that and I walk out of the lottery office, I'm gonna be run over by a bus. That that's the kind of luck that I tend to have, right? The 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 most unlikeliest things that could happen, as long as they're bad events, they're gonna happen. Sure things that are good will never happen to me. That's the kind of luck that I have for some reason. L leave a comment if that's the kind of luck that you have as well. I, I kind of have the the um, extreme form of Murphy's Law, right? Um, not just that bad things will, will happen, but the unlikeliest bad things will happen. The likeliest good things will not happen for some reason, right? Feel free to leave a comment if you if you feel that way. We need to we need to invent a new uh, Murphy's Law. Right? It, it could be the Peter Dislike Law, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's that is my that's why I got really nervous about um, playing with uh, the toxic uh, metals right, with my art project. I, I I did a few castings out of lead, out of out of um, cadmium, and I was gonna do I was gonna do thallium and mercury amalgams. But after after all the drama and obviously the uh, extracting the polonium from um, background uh, radon. I was gonna I, I was gonna do more of that stuff but after all the anxiety that had built up um, and um, but anyways um this is not the first time in my life that I've experienced this level of of uh, uh, malaise if you will when I was working on my PhD I had a little bit of drama you got to remember in the in 2009 2010 it was difficult to mingle with your cohort if you didn't have a date to bring along, right? So, for example, I was most of my uh, classmates were married. Some of them had kids. Most, the, the rest at least had a committed relationship, and so I felt left out. They would um, they would go out on these multiple dates, and oftentimes um, 
some of the best research ideas come together when you're having fun, right? I don't think, think I need to explain that. And I could never join them, so I felt pressured. I felt pressured to, 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 to randomly meet anybody I could. And so, um, at the same time, what else was going on? Uh, I, uh, I had just moved out of my family's home, and I had a little bit of um, uh, a big learning curve. Of dealing with that right I remember when I first uh, mo uh, when I moved into my first apartment oh my god I don't have this oh my god I don't have that and just um, in the middle of a task what should have been an everyday uh, task at home uh, suddenly there's something that I forgot about handling right so and then I got myself in uh, my first uh, serious relationship and um, I uh, the girl took advantage of me financially she was like a bottomless pit, and I still couldn't get myself out of that because, at the, you know, I I didn't know there was life uh, away from the girl, and I started to fall behind in school, and my health really deteriorated during the time. During the time I was with the girl, I I, I was spending all my money on her. I wasn't eating right. I had a friend who was catching fish out of Lake Ontario. I had another friend who was um, hunting around the. Um, the Rochester area. I've since learned that um, it, uh, ammunition from hunting um, the lead can contaminate meat. I I don't think lead-free ammunition was very popular around the time. Nowadays, you just end up taking an extra dose of Pepto Bismol every time you eat some um, game meat, right? But at the time, lead ammunition was um, much more popular. So I got lead from the game meat and, and mercury from the fish out of lake out here. I was really consuming a lot. It really makes my experimentation with the art projects seem like nothing these days, right? So I got very sick, and um, it, which made everything that much harder to deal with. Right? Your, your um, brain damaged from mercury, you, 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 your brain washed from, from, from a toxic relationship, and you're falling behind in school. Picture that, right? Things really started to look up due to one event during that time. I was getting ready to go to this coin show, which I had no money to really spend on. I was just going to browse. It was um, We had a coin show every three months or so, and um, I, uh, I almost didn't want to go to that show because I didn't have a girl to take to that show, and I was tempted to call the girl and say, hey, let's... I, and then I remembered that the last couple of times I tried to do that didn't go very well either, right? And, uh, you know, I, I often I often get too optimistic about things I really shouldn't. And I run, I, I run into a lot of trouble over that. I, I think that's something that turned out badly the, the last couple of times. Oh, it's going to turn well this time. You see, not only do I have Murphy's Law working against me, I, I, I get overly optimistic. This time it's different. This time it's different. It's just like the economy, right? Oh, this recession is different, right, every time, right? It's never different, right? But I have a tendency to do that. I was tempted to call the girl again. For, for some reason that time I, I, I came to my senses and didn't. I, I thought, oh, okay, I, I need to catch up on my studies anyway. Maybe this coin shoe just isn't in the cards. Woke up, it was a Sunday morning. Just like today. Actually, the weather was similar to that as well. And I decided that, you know what? I, I really want to ride my bicycle to the coin show at least to say hello to people there and maybe uh, tell them that I've broken up so that it could be final, right? And um, I was riding my bicycle because my car was in disrepair as a result of the relationship with the girl. I got to the coin show and uh, my... I, I probably went there with the idea that I would meet another girl there, and instead I had the best time of my life without the girl. And that's when it clicked that I could go to other things without the girl. Go go to my favorite restaurant, uh, go to a movie, and to go on vacation. And also, um, later that year, uh, you see, after 9-11, I developed a huge fear of flying, and I never really flew again after... Yeah, and not only did I have a fear of flight, I think there were two things that contributed to my fear of flight. Number one, the, the actual incidents, right? The 9-11, and then later on, the Space Shuttle Columbia, right? That was one big reason I didn't want to fly. But I think there was a secondary reason. I didn't have a girl to fly with. So after my experience at the coin show, I lost the second reason, at least. And I went on my first flight not long after that. And um, so ended my... Um, uh, 
what, what was my biggest burnout season at the time. And here we are 14 years later. Uh, it, it seems like every time Jupiter and Uranus are approaching conjunction, that's when I run into uh, uh, one of these burnout um, seasons, it seems like. I'm, I'm hoping this time I can bring it down to a soft landing without all the dramas of health problems, of the toxicity, uh, of, um, uh, of almost dropping out of school, almost losing a job. I, I hope this time around I can bring it to a soft landing without all those dramas forcing the ending, right? All right, so please continue to pray for me. This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 bum.